Hello students, welcome to the session. Today we will be discussing paper 4, unit power transmission and today's topic principle of three phase power generation. So first let us see what is a three phase power. A single phase power supply has two terminals as we know it is life and neutral. A three phase power supply on the other hand has three live terminals. The supply in three live terminals is phase shifted from each other by 120 degrees. That is in a 50 hertz supply there is a 6.6 .6 milliseconds lag between each other of the three crossing a certain voltage value. Most of the households run at single phase supply while generation, transmission and distribution is done using a three phase. Three phase is also used to run motors for industrial applications like the three phase induction motor. Three phase is preferred because it is more efficient than a single phase. A single phase gives a pulsating power output and an average value of 0.5 P where P refers to the peak value while a three phase supply gives an almost constant power output of 1.5 P where P is the peak of power. So due to all these advantages three phase is preferred over single phase power system. Now let us get into the generation of a single phase AC. Now this we have already learnt in our lower classes how uh, generation of a single phase AC is done. So just look at the diagram. So in this diagram you can see that there is a north and south pole permanent magnet and in between those magnet you can find a um, uh, conductor or a coil of conductor. So this coil of conductor will be continuously rotating so that the magnetic field lines which are flowing between north pole and south pole. So this rotating coil will be constantly cutting or disturbing those magnetic field lines. Uh, so due to that disturbance in magnetic field lines a current is induced or EMF is induced in the coil. So that itself is shown in the graph there. So you can find a sinusoidal wave where you can find a maximum forward current and you can also find a maximum uh, downward current. So due uh, this is just due to the change of direction of the coil. So in this way we can find that generation of single phase AC is done. An AC single phase generator is one which produces voltage in one single wave that alternates as long as the armature rotates and there is a magnetic field present. So this type of generator provides voltage that fluctuates up and down with the wave cycle. Now let us see generation of a three phase power. So just look into this diagram. So here line 1, line 2 and line 3 indicates the wire or the conducting wires and in the center you can find magnet. So the magnet has a north pole and a south pole where north pole is indicated or marked as positive and south pole is taken as negative. Now this is a rotating magnet. So this magnet will be continuously rotating. We know that a circle is 360 degrees and the clock divides the circle into 12 sections so that each hour covers 30 degrees of the circle. So going from 12 to 3 is 90 degree and going from 12 to 4 is 120 degrees. That exactly is shown in this diagram. So you can note that this diagram is like a clock or it represents a clock. At 12 o'clock you have line 1, at um, 4 o'clock we have line 2 and uh, you have at 8 o'clock line 3. So this is a representation of clock. Why we are using clock because the reason is clock exactly divides or the degrees between them is 30 degrees. So 12 to 3 is 90 degree and you can find that 12 to 4 is 120 degree. So initially we have noted that in a three phase system all the three lines should be placed 120 degrees apart from each other. So when 
generating three phase power, the copper lines are located exactly 12 degrees apart. So, line 1 is located at 12 o'clock and line 2 is located at 4 o'clock and line 3 is located at 8 o'clock. So, in this way we can find that all the three lines are 120 degrees apart. So, when you are at 4 o'clock position in our example, so that is exactly 120 degrees away from 1 and at the 8 o'clock position, once again it is 120 degree away from both 4 and 12 o'clock position. So, these three lines are equally spaced around the circle. So, that is why I am using clock as an example here. So, to help explain the concept easier, so let us use the clock phase and say that line 1 is at 12 o'clock position. The electrons in line 1 going to be flowing towards the north pole of the magnet. So, what happens when the magnet now swings 90 degrees? So, what is the meaning of here? We know that line 1 is a conductor and we have indicated in our diagram north pole as positive. So, what happens when north pole is closer to line 1? North pole is positive and electrons are negative. So, these negative electrons start flowing towards the north pole of the magnet. Now, what happens when uh, what we know that it is continuously rotating. Now, what happens when the magnet swings to 90 degree? As because the magnet is perpendicular to line 1, the electrons in line 1 will stop moving. Now, what happens is this is conductor and let us consider this is magnet. So, initially it was in this position and it starts moving and it becomes or moves to 90 degree. When it moves to 90 degree, we can find that both are perpendicular to each other. When both are perpendicular to each other, what happens? The electrons will stop moving. Then as magnet swings more than 90 degree and the south pole of the magnet comes closer to line 1 and electrons will reverse which means the direction of current will reverse. Now slowly this started moving and this is south pole and this is the conductor. We have indicated south pole as negative and electrons are also negative. So, negative and negative will start repelling. So, in this way the electrons will move in reverse direction and you will have a reverse current. So, this is the animation showing how a three phase uh, generation is happening here. You can find that the magnet is constantly rotating and there you can see in the graph three colors. You can find red green and blue color. So, in this way the generation of current will be done in all the three lines or all the three wires. But you can see that starting point is different. So, when one line is generating current other two lines will not be generating or will be just starting to generate current. So, in this way the current is generated in a three phase AC. Hopefully, this example shows you how at time current is always flowing in at least two lines. It also shows the relationship between the three lines as the magnet spins in a circle. As the magnet goes round the clock phase, each of the three lines will be affected by the other, the north or south poles except when the magnet is perpendicular to a line. So, for three phase you can connect line 1 to line 2 and get 2 root 8 volts. At the same time you can connect line 2 to line 3 and get 2 root 8 volt and you can connect line 3 to line 1 and get 2 naught 8 volt. Basically, three phase delivers more power than single phase. So, that is uh, for today and we are concluding here. Thank you.